Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll show you a very common problem in programming and computer science, finding the minimum and maximum values of an array. We will use the C programming language. We will also extend the problem to find the second minimum and maximum values. At the end of the video, we'll also have a look at a Python implementation. Let's start with this array of 25 elements. Without much effort, we can see that the smallest value is 0, while the biggest one is 10. We can also see that the second minimum and maximum values are, still, respectively 0 and 10. A simple algorithm to find the minimum works like this. We assume that the first element is the smallest, i.e. temporary minimum. We then start to iterate the array from the second element forwards. Once we find an element smaller than the temporary minimum, we update the minimum with that new element. Finding the maximum works in the same way as the minimum, you just have to change one condition. We can extend the program I just discussed by finding the second maximum and second minimum elements. There is more than one method for this, so we'll start with the simpler one. The first part is the same. To find the second minimum value, we first need to find where the first minimum is. We must also keep track of the index corresponding to the minimum element, because we'll need this value later on. Once we find the smallest element in the array, we must do another sweep, excluding the minimum element we've just found. This means that we'll find the second smallest element because we ignore the value and the index of the global minimum of the array. As you can see, in this second for loop, we're doing the same operations as in the first one, but we're skipping the global minimum of the array. Just like before, finding the maximum is very similar to the minimum. We can elaborate a different solution if we work with subarrays. If we find the global minimum and put it in the first slot at index 0, by swapping it with another element, we'll have the smallest element in array of 0. If we repeat this logic on the subarray that starts from the second slot, we'll have the second smallest array element at index 1. This method is at the base of the selection sort algorithm, in fact. If we repeat the external for loop for the whole length of the array, we'll get the array sorted. To conclude this video, let's now have a look at an implementation in Python. To generate a random list we use list comprehensions and the randint method. This instruction generates a list of 25 random elements between 0 and 10. You can then easily find the minimum of a list in Python using the min function. To find the second smallest element of a list, you can sort it, and then pick the element at index 1. To find the second maximum, we must look at the element right before the last one. This element corresponds to index 23, because list indexing in Python starts from 0. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.